Hi, Tamal. Welcome once again to the Business Standard Banking Show. Uh, so let us start uh, our chat today by talking about your column uh, this week. It's an issue you've touched upon in the past as well, but much deeper this time. So can you give us a broad overview of what are the challenges before the banking sector and whether you think that the performance they have had uh, in last financial year will be uh, they will be able to keep it up? And if not, then why not? Uh, I think there are challenges ahead. Um, very briefly, challenge number one, in a rising interest rate scenario, you enjoy higher NIM, net, uh, net interest margin. But, you know, interest rate now, we have stabilized. We have we have seen the end of rate hike cycle. It will only come down. And the uh, deposits, uh, the banks have been pretty uh, conservative uh, while hiking the deposit rates, even though um, the fight is on. But still, uh, you know, the entire impact of the raise in deposit has not been felt by the system as yet. So as more and more uh, part of the portion of the deposit get repriced and banks' ability to hike their interest rate for loans um, are curbed, then we'll see the NIM under pressure, net interest margin under pressure. That's the that's the mainstay of a bank's income. That's point number one. Point number two is this, um, you know, this uh, recovery part, which has been pretty good uh, till now. So that's that's another issue. Uh, banks will not be able to recover as much as they as, as they have been doing in the past. So Tamal, you've mentioned many challenges. One thing I'm very curious to know what you think of is this RBI's uh, circular that has come on compromise settlement. What do you think of it, and how do you think it will uh, impact uh, the banks? Well, there's a little history to it. Um, uh, um, you are, you are aware that Reserve Bank of India in February 2018 um, had a similar circular on compromise settlement, mm -hmm. which uh, in 2019, April, if I'm not mistaken, Supreme Court uh, announced it ultra virus. And then subsequently, Reserve Bank of India said we would come out with a, a new norm. So finally, this new norm has come. Uh, the good part of the story is this um, it's very structured and it's not only applicable to the banks it's all regulated entities which means the commercial banks the universal banks and sfbs which have all along been but the new entrants in this segment are the cooperative banks cooperative banks were not um, uh, are not covered by this and as well as the non bank Banking finance companies, the NBFCs. So this new compromise norms uh, are applicable to the entire financial sector, not the bank side. That's one part of it. Other part of it is this, of course, the uh, Reserve Bank of India has said that you need to have a board-driven policy, uh, a committee which will uh, decide on this. It has to be above the level of the credit committee. In a sense, uh, people who lend the, because the executives who, who sanction and lend should not be a part of this committee, which will go for this, uh, no, no, which will go for this uh, one-time uh, settlement, etc. No wonder then RBI has also been raising these governance issue. I mean, uh, we didn't talk about it earlier, but today is a good day to discuss about what you thought of uh, Mr. Das's uh, meeting with the. Uh, you know, the bank boards of both public sector, uh, private sector uh, banks and all that he talked about, uh, you know, governance issues. What, what do you think was the provocation and uh, how do you see the situation evolving now? Well, provocation is, you know, you take hard decision when the time is good. I mean, look at the banking se sector, which is well capitalized. Uh, provision coverage ratio is pretty good. Earnings are very good. Name is pretty good. Everything is good. So you must take hard decisions at this kind of good time. Uh, so that's what the government has rightly said. And this is a different kind of Reserve Bank of India, which is keeping a very close watch on the banks. Not, not only their prime efficiency on their balance sheet, that's their, 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 um, their earnings and their NPS, going beyond that, even their business model. Is the Bank of India like, for instance, a bank which is, um, which is you know, there are too much of uh, dependence on bulk assets, uh, bulk deposits, I mean, on the liability side. Uh, is the Bank of India is telling the bank, look, uh, you, you can't afford to do that. You look for granular deposits. Similarly, if a bank is particularly, uh, you know, inclined to give more and more unsecured loans and thereby uh, strengthen its name and earning is higher, uh, Reserve Bank of India says, look, you are inviting trouble for yourself. So 
this RBI is looking at the business model. This RBI is looking at the governance with a very different prism. And you must have noticed, uh, Reserve Bank of India Governor uh, Das had spoke about the modus operandi of how the banks are ever gaining loans. You know how they are actually the loan has become bad, but now the how they are camouflaging it and showing it's good. So this RBI is is a very proactive RBI. Now, one way of uh, describing this uh, regulator that is a, it's a, it's doing micromanagement. I would not say that. I would say this is a very intrusive regulator, and globally regulators have been doing that. You know, they are getting into the kitchen and bedroom of banks and checking out whether it's right or wrong. Uh, that's what the RBI is doing it, and it's again, it's a very, uh, it's a very composite approach. I would say 360 degree approach with the Bank of India is taking they're not only taking the banks uh looking at the bank's health and the business um, model of the banks they are also looking at the borrowers the borrowers health and their business model their ability to pay back and they are also looking at the non-banking financial entities so it's bank non-bank and the borrowers the corporate borrowers everybody is uh, on the rbi radar and this rbi is very different i think it's it's it does not want to um uh, uh, see a repeat of yes bank kind of stuff it has been doing it's doing a lot of things which you and me are not aware of it uh, but it has been doing maybe in the weeks to come you will share more with us about what they're doing and uh, uh, very rightly said that it's going to be a challenging year a lot of challenges that you have uh, uh, listed uh, in this uh, interview and also very rightly said that they are taking a 360 degree approach so the lens will be keeping a very close watch on uh, how the sector performs in the coming months. Uh, thank you, Kamal, for taking the time and uh, look forward to another prevailing chat with you in the next episode. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky I am the inspiration that lets success so high I will achieve Nation's trusted bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.